Good morning, I'm Wayne Norton with HPC UAS team. I'm the NDT lead for the UT measurements. And this morning I got Felix with Valero here to oh, tell us a little you. bit about the robot. Yeah, thanks Thanks for the invitation. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Felix from Valero. So uh, probably the unique thing about this, uh, about this, uh, about this flying robot is the tool to the road to design. So you can basically uh, sort of slow those slide movies up and downward. And that allows you to do complex based uh, Actions with this robot. So instead of just having a drone flying and taking videos, we can actually do uh, measurements on surfaces. And those surfaces. That's very cool. Can you tell us about the different probes? Yeah, so that's the ultrasonic uh, uh, thickness probe. So basically measures wall thickness measurements on the uh, of, 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 of the material. Uh, it's a conventional UT as a as a probe at the front uses this blue gel comes out the front to take those take those readings. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, works similar to, to, to standard handheld device, but instead of having climbing up there, having a sense in your hand, you've got the robot making making the work for you. But the similar resolution uh, or, or accuracy of uh, 0.004 inches, and uh, yeah, everything everything all is covered with that. What are the, what are thicknesses can I read with this UT? So you can read from two millimeter or two millimeter up to fifty millimeters. Okay. Um, Will they have the inches or? No, uh, no, Okay. <laughs> we'll let them do the math. We'll let them do the math. And can you tell us a little bit about the EMAP probe? Yeah, so I'll, I'll just switch that over here actually. It's super easy to switch it, put it on uh, one payload to the next one. That's the electromagnetic acoustic transducer probe. Okay. It's also ultrasonic based. Uh, so it uses ultrasonic uh, principle to measure the wall thicknesses. However, uh, it's based on an electromagnetic principle, therefore it's a dry coupling, so we don't need any gel, and you can uh, measure through rusty surfaces. Very cool. I think that'll work really good down here in the Gulf Coast where we have everything is rusty. Sure, <laughs> yes. Uh, what about calibration for both the EMAT and the UT? Calibration is similar to, to your, what you're used to with your handheld device. So you use the snap lock, uh, okay. we use the uh, echo to echo mode, so you don't measure any important thickness reaction, just the thickness of the wall itself. And uh, yeah, speed of sound, velocity, vibration is the same as what you used to. Okay, perfect. What can we inspect with this Valero drone? I mean, any any all thickness measurements you basically want to do. Uh, it's a very common use case. Stacks, stacks, flare stacks, uh, pipelines, uh, tank walls, tank roofs. So especially having the the option to tilt those rotors, the drone itself can actually go uh, also fly like this, and then actually take readings. On the on the okay. tank wall, or also if you go all the way down on the uh, on the tank floor or the tank roof from from the outside. So we have three uh, other options. So I saw you just put it in the vertical position. Does that mean I can take tank readings inside of tanks? Yes. So uh, basically, you can uh, you can fly inside tanks. Uh, okay. You have those LEDs here at the front, giving you illumination, and uh, basically you can you can fly those, fly out those with GPS, all those. Okay. Is there any kind of wind restrictions? Um, so basically, yeah, it's the, the wind restriction is more or less 20 miles per hour, okay. uh, mainly due to actually having a stable contact on the surface and getting accurate reading. Okay. Uh, that's possible up to uh, 20 miles per hour. What about flight time and battery life? So the battery gives you uh, 10 to 12 minutes, um, but that's enough to get roughly 30 readings uh, on a on a on a, on a stack. And uh, you just uh, switch battery and the power could have put it running again uh, after two minutes. That's cool. I can't wait to I can't wait to use this thing. Yeah, that's that's doing. Well, fine, sir. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.